Hello YouTube, this is Chris coming at you with Kerbal Space Program point two two career mode. And in this edition I will be going to Duna with a probe and I will actually land on Duna. Uh, what you didn't see was the launch because uh, it was just a, a standard launch and then I had to use a um, timekeeper uh, it was like a, a probe that I had that was out past 750 kilometers around Kerbin. Uh, that way I could switch to it and use that to um, speed up my uh, phase angle so I could get to Duna. Um, and if, if I hadn't done that, and then from a low Kerbin orbit, you can only go, I think, 100 times speed advance. So it would take hours, literally, to, to go around the planet at that slow speed so what I did was I made a timekeeper that is outside of that uh, restriction so I can go the full uh, fast forward and that way I don't have to waste a lot of time and I can do that and then switch back to my actual uh, probe ship that I was gonna send to Duna so that's what I did there um, you I cut all that out so we didn't have to waste time with that but here I am just setting up my encounter uh, I used MechJeb to get to Duna, and then um, as I was going down, I'd fine-tune at the uh, ascending node. And then uh, I, I ended up doing this a couple times. I had to reload, uh, and I didn't cut that out because it just shows you that, uh, you know, nothing's perfect. And uh, I had to do a couple different attempts to get to Duna, and uh, finally got there, and arrow braked perfectly, actually. It worked out well, and then I, I ended up landing uh, manually vertical with the uh, rocket. I didn't have legs on it. I wasn't planning on landing, but I said, hey, what the hell? I'm here. Might as well get some more science. So I think that whole trip netted me a close to about a thousand science. I, I didn't have a lot of uh, science parts yet. So I, it was just kind of a, you know, stripped down probe just to get there. Um, but it, it did work. It, it served its purpose. It got me an, a, a bunch of science points. So it was worth it. But uh, here is is my Basically, it's just the uh, the whole launch pro uh, sequence, and uh, I'm going to fast forward through a bunch of this because it's mostly just me setting up encounters, and uh, like I said, I had to do it a couple times because uh, I, I just wasn't getting the right encounter, and I was, I was too far away, or, you know, I was just it was just a otherwise awful encounter. And uh, I will forward through that, and we'll see what happens when we get there. Alright, so we finally got an encounter that I that I liked, and we are just going to do some final adjustments. 
and you'll see that um, you know the actually inclination was pretty pretty good uh, and I just want to adjust my uh, periapsis a little bit closer because uh, I wanted to get into a arrow breaking maneuver around Duna the atmosphere is not very thick it is probably less dense than lathe and that's not as dense as Kerbal or Kerbin I should say so I ended up going into this at about uh, 12,000 to 15,000 uh, meters and I was able to break nicely and I didn't have to waste a lot of fuel this was it was one of those um, approaches that wasn't really super fast so it, it I could have I had enough fuel to probably stop myself had it not had an atmosphere but I you got an atmosphere, use the arrow breaking maneuver, save all that fuel, and then what that did was allow me to land. Even though I had two shoots, uh, this atmosphere is not dense enough to hold you back enough to keep you from blowing up the more sensitive parts. So I used the parachutes and did my landing, but I'll show that. Uh, just going to do some final, we're going to do some science on the way to the planet just to get some more points while we're waiting. Again, we're just doing some science as we get closer to the planet. Uh, I got a few glory shots that I made screenshots of. This is the second time I've been to Duna since playing career mode. Uh, not in this particular career, but in another one. This is the first time I've landed on it. Um, which was kind of cool. It was it was definitely a different experience, and it's you know Mars esque as as when you land, all you see is red mountains or dunes. It's pretty cool. Uh, like I just getting some science on the way down, some glory shots here and there, and then I'm going to attempt a landing, and it was manually. The shoots uh, really ba basically act like drogue shoots and slow you down, but you still need a little bit of. Uh, engine to keep you from smashing. Let the shoots out, slow me down a little bit. They haven't deployed yet. I don't know the exact altitude that we're above the ground because I, I, I just don't remember. The funny thing was, now this is just in real time, so you can see how, uh, if you look at my um, blue, <laughs> now that it's not there, but a couple more glory shots, and if you look at my nav ball, when it comes back up, you'll see that I'm going, I, I believe it was like 5 or 10 meters per second, even with the shoots deployed, so I ended up having to use the engine, which I, I knew I was going to anyway, just from reading about landing on Duna, that I was going to have to use the engine, but I ended up doing a little bit too much thrust and I ended up zeroing out my vertical velocity and my shoots <laughs> my shoots cut away so now I have no shoots low fuel I think I have plenty so I said you know what I, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and just control this uh, landing and I touched down beautifully and I thought I was gonna roll there or fall over but it, it ended up straightening out again uh, simple landing like my min miss landing it was a surprise to me that it was as easy as it was because I, I just hadn't done it and um yeah it's nice to land during a daytime cycle because you can actually see the ground coming up if you don't have lights on your craft you know that was complete juxtaposition of my uh, min miss landing which was completely in the dark but uh we are down i'm doing a bunch of science clearing that up and then um just i'm gonna open up some more tiers As you can see, I've opened up a good amount of the tech trees, but there's still a lot more to go. And if you notice my science points, they were quite good on that mission. So definitely worth even the probe. If you liked the video, please subscribe. Also leave your comments, and if you have any requests, I'd be happy to try them out. Thank you.